All right, we've invited Benjamin Franklin to this video because we're going to be talking about money and finances and stuff like that. But we also have a 1911 on the table, so what's going on? We're going to be unboxing this box here in just a minute. Uh, but let's talk about why we got Benjamin Franklin sitting here on the table. This is money, and it's going to be that time of year where it's time to start buying gifts for people and for kids. And uh, something I've always liked to give kids is coins. Uh, something ideally like a pre-1964 half dollar, something that's got some silver value to it, uh, so that it's, you're giving them something of value as a gift, but it's something they can hold on to and check out and do research on if they're interested in the history at all. It's also something that's not as easy uh, just going to the store and spending it on a video game like a, like a dollar bill would be or a $20 bill might be. Another alternative has always been just plain old silver, something like this uh, limited run from getting a bunch of cancer back in the day, uh, just plain old mint sets, or something cool like this Constitution dollar that probably will go up in value because of what it is, not just the amount of silver in there. So it's that time of year, and I'm thinking, what can I give people as gifts? And then I heard about the uh, Northwest Territorial Mint, and they offer silver bullets. So let's take a look. That should be what's in this box. Ended up getting a two ounce 308. So this is a 308 cartridge, but it's two ounces of silver. And then this is 10 rounds of 45 ACP. And each one of those is a one ounce of silver. We've got a one ounce 45 ACP, the head stamp of the mint. So instead of something boring like a coin, potentially give them something neat like a uh, 45 ACP round. Very dense, very cool. And there's a video where they show how they make these. They basically take some some silver, pure silver, just, uh, pour it into an ingot, heat that ingot up, smash it down into a rope, cut them off, put them into a mill, get them down to the right size, then they polish them and, and grind them off so that they're exactly the one ounce, head stamp them, and then they think they give them a light varnish or something so that they don't tarnish. So you don't have to worry about polishing these things up and I don't have to worry about touching them. And then you can buy them singly for like price of silver plus five bucks. So it's $27 for one of these where, you know, if I bought a plain old uh, coin, it's going to cost me more than $27 probably. So it's very competitive with buying a coin. And then if you buy them in a 10 at a time, you get them in a box like this. So that's not, you know, they're not giving it away, but they're not charging you that much more than just buying silver at cost. So to compare, you can see that they're exactly the size of standard 45 ACP. However, uh, another solid silver. Then we've got a two ounce 308. Let's take a look at that one. Comes in a plastic bag instead of the box. I think you can buy these in a box though. You know, you've got, they're $54 a piece. So basically the price of two coins. And they come with this certificate of authenticity. And to hold it up to a standard 308, you see again, they're, they're exactly the same thing. I'm sure you could chamber one. Let's give that a try just because we know we're going to do that anyway. So obviously they're going to load into a magazine just fine. So chamber just fine. And you can see the bullet down in there. It's kind of cool. And a little worse for wear for chamber in it, but chamber's just fine. Probably lost a little silver in my barrel. As far as giving someone a gift or coming up with something that's a little bit out of the normal as a gift, I think the silver 45 ACP rounds at under $30, or even one of these silver 308 rounds at about $54, you know, just over the price of silver, you found a pretty cool gift for a veteran or a potential person who's joining the military, somebody who's just into firearms, even a hunter. They do make them in other calibers like 9mm and some other rifle calibers. So again, I would suggest if you're going to give somebody a coin or something for a gift anyway, might consider these silver bullets. Very unique, very cool, and actually I priced them out and the uh, Northwest Territorial Mint had about the best price out there for silver bullets. Some of them were like twice the price. Uh, I think it's a great deal, and uh, we'll find out if they're interesting gifts or not. Check them out, and as always, thanks for watching.
The guys and gals at GunWebsite.com encourage you to take a CCW course every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.